It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Tuesday, June 27, 2023. Number one, former Texas Congressman Will Hurd, a one-time CIA officer and still fierce critic of Donald Trump, announced last week he's running for president, hoping to build momentum as a more moderate alternative to the Republican frontrunners. Hurd says he's out to redefine the contours of the 2024 race and has said that the prospect of another election pitting the current president against the former one would be the rematch from hell. Heard calls himself a dark horse candidate and said the only way to win is to not be afraid of Donald Trump and that we also have to articulate a different vision. Number two, the United States has been celebrating African American Music Appreciation Month in June since 1979. While President Jimmy Carter designated June as Black Music Month in 79, it wasn't until 2000 when the presidential proclamation for the month was signed, making it official. President Barack Obama went on to rename the month from Black Music Month to its current name, African American Music Appreciation Month in 2009. Number three, taking charge of your health is a responsibility that should never be overlooked regardless of your gender. However, men, including African-American men, often tend to neglect regular health checkups, which can result in delayed detection and treatment of potential health issues. The What You Need to Know newsletter gives you a checklist from Black Health Matters to help men prioritize their health. Number four, Senator John Fetterman's Twitter post celebrating Juneteenth and Black Lives was mocked by users of the social media platform who were quick to point out the Pennsylvania Democrat once pulled a shotgun on an unarmed black jogger. On June 19, Fetterman wrote on the social media platform, Happy Juneteenth! Today we celebrate emancipation and reflect on the long shadow of systemic racism in America. This post triggered a flood of replies, with some users accusing Fetterman of engaging in racial profiling during a 2013 incident in which he pursued a running African-American man and pulled a shotgun on him because he wrongly believed the man had been involved in a shooting. Number five. Taxpayers who use apps such as Venmo and PayPal and e-commerce companies such as eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark may be receiving a Form 1099-K, which reports third-party business payments to the IRS and worth some advanced planning. The IRS delayed the controversial change, which was initially meant to go into effect for 2022 taxes. Our CPA to the stars, Katrina M. Kraft, gives some tips to consider in the newsletter before reporting changes in January. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. When we know what is right, we are compelled to do what is right. <laughs> okay. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with our guys, Damon Williams and producer Ahmed Gordon, as well as contributor Cameron Riley, as we discuss today's top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, the American Heart Association and Black Health Matters. I'm Sybil Wilkes, the informed be empowered.